Hey everybody, uh, Sam Mellinger here with the Kansas City Star and another edition of the Mellinger Minute. Today is Thursday. The Royals have a day off today between a somewhat disappointing homestand and a road trip in which they will probably end up clinching the division. My guess is next weekend in Detroit, Friday, if you had to bet. But anyway, I thought the most interesting thing to happen on this homestand um, was not the results of any of the games or the freak out over a four game losing streak. Um, I thought it was Greg Holland. Um, he pitched uh, scoreless innings, scoreless one inning each of the last two nights, um, and I thought that was really significant. He had not thrown in uh, 11 days, and he went on back-to-back -back nights, needed only 17 pitches. Um, you know, got the double play last night, which certainly helped. But it's it's a really critical thing, obviously, for him to be right. And uh, you know, yesterday before the game, Ned Yost for the first time acknowledged that Greg Holland's. Uh, fastball velocity may not return, uh, may not return ever, but certainly may not return this year. You know, he's accustomed to going 95, 96, sometimes 97. Last night it was 89, 90, 91. That changes, you know, pretty much everything you do as a pitcher, right? Like, you know, command is more important. Pitch sequence is more important. I think you're seeing him uh, mixing that really slow curve more often now um, and later in counts, not just a show me curve, give him something different to think about, but now trying to get outs with it. And, you know, so what? So, uh, so far, um, you have to give him a lot of credit. I think seven of his last eight outings, um, you know, in this sort of reinvention of Greg Holland, uh, he hadn't given up a run. And um, it doesn't matter how you do it, it just, rema it just matters the results. I think, um, you know, if this keeps up, Greg deserves a lot of credit for sort of, uh, you know, altering himself on the fly. Uh, in a really difficult situation, pitching the ninth inning of, of baseball games that matter against the best hitters in the world. So, you know, obviously this is something that we'll keep an eye on the rest of the regular season and, and into the playoffs. But if, if he can lock down that ninth inning uh, at anything close to the level um, that we've been accustomed to, it really helps out everything else that the Royals are trying to do um, into the playoffs to follow up that World Series run. So. Um, so far, everything is, is very encouraging, and um, you know we'll keep an eye on it as we go on. Uh, again, if there's anything that you want addressed here, please reach out to me on Twitter. I am at Mellinger, um, or on Facebook. And also, uh, I have a suspicion that you are wasting time at work right now, um, which I applaud you for, and I encourage you to waste more time by entering the Don't Kill the Mellinger Chiefs Over Under Challenge. It is free, you can win food, and you can tell your friends to screw off because you know more about the Chiefs than they do. It's a win, 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 win. I think that was four wins in there. So anyway, thanks for watching. I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye-bye.